Hello everyone, welcome to day 72. And I wanted to follow up on the stories I shared yesterday. So as I mentioned, Siddhartha, who became the Buddha, left everything, the palace, even his partner and child. And as the story goes, he went throughout India looking for that special teacher that could really show him the way. And he tried all different kinds of tapas. That idea again of putting forth effort on the spiritual path to gain that clarity, to gain self-realization. And then of course, after much trial and error, becoming very, very, very skinny, stick in bones, and really surrendering his heart and starting to take care of his body and sitting under the Bodhi tree. And he experiences what we call Nirvana, that extinguishing of separateness is what I will say. And that extinguishing of separateness is common to Buddhism and Vedanta, the two profound spiritual traditions coming from India. And although these two paths have different methods, different teachings, different emphases, they do share a commonality in regards to understanding the world of vibrations and the karmas that we come into this life with. So then what does it mean to become royal from the inside out? And must we give up our palace, whatever that may be for us in this season of our life, or give up our riches or our partner and children like Siddhartha did? And of course, the answer is no, because becoming royal from the inside, that was so emphasized by my teacher, doesn't require us to leave our world. What I, and what I have discovered over the years, which I just want to share with you are two things. One is Acharya Shunya would always share these stories of ancient India during Vedic times where people did live in luxury. They had lavish lives. They were very sophisticated and had advanced technology. But this is the thing. They were aligned with the rhythms of nature. They were attuned to the rhythms of life. And what I have discovered over the years is that deepest desires, whether that may be for luxury and riches or to have a big impact on people, or whatever it may be, that usually it's reflecting something that's deep within you, part of your soul imprint of what contribution you're meant to share with the world. And so instead of dismissing those desires, I say, go deep into those desires and listen to them. Ask them what it is that they're so passionate about because each of us, as I've said before, is in a dance with the vibrations that weave the cosmos, as Acharya Shunya says. And so we have a unique soul script and we can co-create a new script, transform it, refine it as we go along. So during this cycle of the rising moon, I wanna say, Go into those deep desires you have and ask them, what are you passionate about? What is it you want to offer the world? Own peace.